the Ryder Cup probably in 2002, I was playing with Sergio Garcia and um, I went for the green and, and knocked it on, knocked it quite close and he came over and I went to the side to look around the trees and he came over and he jumped on my back, that was a good memory. Any time you hit the green is a good memory. I think in foursomes it helps if you've got a similar kind of game, you know, so you, you know, myself and Sergio, we tend to hit quite a lot of fairways, good iron players, um, so, you know, I wouldn't miss it in a spot that Sergio was uncomfortable with. I think four ball doesn't matter quite so much, but you want a partner that you get along well with and you're happy to spend time with, because you're obviously going to be under pressure out there for four or five hours. Yeah, I've laid up many a time on this hole. You know, it just depends, you know, where the wind's blowing from, whether you've got the right club for it. Sometimes you might, you know, might be between clubs, it might be between a drive and a three wood, so you might not feel comfortable doing it. The wind might be blowing in the wrong direction. So, you know, in that case, it's not worth taking it on. You just lay it back there with a seven iron and play in with the pitcher motion. I actually came and watched the Ryder Cup when it was here in uh, 89 and 93 and I remember standing behind the 10th tee and watching Seve drive the 10th green here. That's obviously a, a great memory from watching the great man knock it on it. The secret to, to playing this golf course as well is it in a lot of fairways. I think once you start going in the rough, it's, especially if the greens are firm, which you do get firm around here, it's to be difficult to keep the ball on the greens. You know, obviously shoot any low round you've got to put well, but I think it all starts around here from driving the ball well and getting in the fairway a lot.